there are people you will see today they are crying they don't have money to eat food they don't have house to live in they don't have clothes to put on and then you ask them ah is there nobody that can uh, where you can uh, go and uh, you say I don't know what to do by the time you go to find out you will discover that those people may have had a counter with the presidency they may have had a relationship with the president but the time they were relating with the president maybe they despised him and they closed that way be careful the road you pass through today because that road you might need to pass through that place again tomorrow don't litter the ground where you are going to relax and take your rest because if you litter it when you will now need to take your rest the place will not be confidence for you to take that to your rest it's important as a child of god or as a believer to always allow God anything that happens on your way should be directed by God because you don't know what tomorrow will be. Tomorrow is always pregnant. Amen? Tomorrow is what? Always what? Somebody gave me a story. The story he gave me was about is either the, the, the commissioner of police or so, 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 or whoever, I don't know. But he was telling me, he said, when the man was like a DPO uh, and somewhere a like it here, they brought one of the politicians to him. They said the politician uh, uh, made the election my practice. On the day of election, they were casting votes. They caught the man. They said the politician were coming about to maybe to give out something. So now when they brought the man, they locked up the man in the custody there they wanted to let the man be there and then as the election was going on so they say one of the people now say ah how can you arrest a candidate that is is uh, going through this please let us find a solution to this the rest of the people despised it it was only one person that stood and fought at the end i'm not saying that that one has anything but i'm just giving you a a kind of example there so the man that helped and fought and made the man out of that place the same evening that the man come out was the same evening that the man was announced the governor the winner <laughs> praise god hallelujah the man was announced the winner in fact of this state then and the only person that came to his mind was that one that assisted him to be out. He put a call. Congratulations. He said, yes, your life done better. <laughs> Praise God. When God created all that he created, he brought them to Adam to see what Adam would name them. If Adam has named the leaves money, money won't be a problem in this world. But Adam said, this, this one now leave. If Adam is supposed to know that money will be very important, he would have said, ah, leave, you are all money. So now, if you say you have money, I will just go to my backyard, pack all the leaves there. We contest. You see that money would have become nothing. Praise God. Because what you are saying in your mouth determines how far you are going in life. Praise God. And so when God is directing your step and being the one directing you, God will tell you things that you will do. In the eyes of the people, it's inconvenient. But in the eyes of God, is the wisdom of grace and wisdom of victory. And so we must all try our best, do everything possible at all times to make sure that we have no other thing than to completely trust God and put our confidence, put our hope. Believe God for everything that happens in our lives. Allow God to begin to lead us where he wants us to go. Allow God to begin to lead us the way he wants us to go in life. Because when God is leading you and directing your steps and directing where you go and what you do, you will see that you will be, you'll be having what is called less worriness. You will not worry. That's why David made it very clear. He said it here. He said, he said, he restored my soul. 
and he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He will be the one that will take you to where you go. There are people that are praying, oh, I want to have an encounter with God. I want to serve God. As they are looking for a way to serve God, they end up into a cultic house. You don't know? Eh? You, don't, you have not heard it before. People want to go to church to serve God. They ended up in a cultic home. And when they ended up in a cultic home, they will have no means again. Some of them are chained. Some of them are deceived forever. Some of them are tied and some of them are initiated. And they begin to go through what they don't want to go through. Some people are looking for help. On the process of looking for help, they ended up in getting what will even destroy them. And some people have said, God directed me. And God by himself carried them and brought them to where they will have liberty. Where they will have free mind. Where they will be very, very free to serve their God. And some people, the devil will also twist them and wander their soul about the greatest thing you can do for yourself is to allow your soul to be fed on a righteous ground. So, David said it clear, and he said here, he said, he restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. For he said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod, thy staff, they all comfort me. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Say the rod of God, the staff of God, they comfort him. As he's walking through the shadow of death, he's passing through the impossible, he's going through the fire, he's going through the way of destruction. Is going to the place that people say, Ah, this man, the way his life is now, and what is happening to him, he may die. He may not be alive tomorrow. He may be going to village. This may happen. This may happen. People will predict different kind of things about you. But as long as the Lord is your shepherd, as long as the Lord is your director, as long as the Lord is everything to you, God Himself will give you that protection that is needed. And David said, he prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies and also anoint his head with oil. You know what it means to prepare a table in the presence of your enemy? You don't know who is your enemy. Praise God. You don't know who is your what? Your enemies. But despite the enemies you don't know, God will make a table. You'll be eating in their presence. The enemy will say, ah, this man is still eating. This brother is still eating. This sister is still eating. We thought that this blow we give him will finish him up. The blow they give to you will turn to a miracle. Will turn to a blessing. I say will turn to a blessing. The blow they give to you will turn to favor. And then favor will be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. And so we need to allow God to direct our steps. Because when he directs yourself, you are operating on a different ground with a different rules and everything is changed because of you. That's why the Bible says, there is no condemnation to them that I cry Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. The spirit is that we accept Christ as our Lord and our Savior and Jesus is that spirit. God is that spirit. What we believe and what we have accepted is not the same with the world. The world has their problem, but we don't have the same problem with the world. Because we know our future. We know where we're going. We know where we are and where we're going. Where we are today is not the end of our lives. Praise God. You may not have enough money to do business, but your business is blessed ahead. It's blessed in the future. I say it's blessed in the future. I say it's blessed in the future. You may not have a peace. Things may be going somehow now, but it doesn't matter. Tomorrow is going to be the best. Can I hear better? Amen. There. Yeah. Hallelujah. So whatever is happening now is nothing to compare what is ahead of you. Amen. What is ahead of you is great and is mighty and is wonderful. That's why the Bible says the eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what God has for those that love him. If you love God and you are among those that God has now planned all these things for, let him direct you. Don't stop controlling yourself. 
Stop being the one to lead yourself. Stop being the one to push you. Allow God to take decisions for you. When God is taking decisions for you, it's the best for you. The last verse of the same 23 says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall what? Shall follow me. How will it follow me? If I'm going to the market, the goodness and mercy is going there with me. If I'm traveling, I'm on the bus traveling, goodness and mercy is following me to travel. Wherever I see myself, goodness and mercy is there with me. Amen. No wonder Jesus said to the disciples, He said, Go ye into the world and preach the gospel. Behold, I am with you even to the end of the world. Anywhere they go is there by their side. And they say, whatever will come on your way, whatever you want to say, do not worry about what you want to say. He said, before you open your mouth, I will fill your mouth with my words. Whatever you want to say, I will be the one saying it for you. And whatever you want to do, I will be the one to do them for you. Anything before you ask, I will give it to you because I already know the desire of your heart. And they say, ask, it shall be given. Seek, you will find. Knock, the door will open. You see, these this are the, the benefits of God directing your steps. It's not everybody God directs. It's not everybody God leads. It's not everybody God is moving ahead with them. No. It's the people that have accepted him and allowed him to do that. People that have asked God, oh God, lead my life, direct me, direct my footsteps anywhere I want to go. Oh God, be the one that will take charge. And then you surprise. When you need mercy, mercy will speak for you. When you need goodness, goodness will speak for you. When you need the support, the spiritual presence of God will support you. Amen. I am so happy because something God has done for us here is something more than money money cannot buy it eh? money cannot buy what we have the achievement the progress the blessings the happiness money cannot buy amen it's not something by human effort some people are oh, because we did this that is why this no it's not human effort because people that have money do not achieve those things amen hallelujah so may the lord continue to show you himself the more and the more in jesus name i pray that god will open your eyes to understand the deeper things of the spirit in the name of jesus can we go to new testament the book of mark chapter 10 oh lord we are very very happy everything you have done for us 10 we are going to look at uh, look at verse number 18 10 18 what did he say he said and jesus said unto him why callest thou me good there is none good but one and that is god thou knowest the commandments do not commit adultery do not kill do not steal do not be a false witness defraud not or not thy father and thy mother and he answered and said unto him master all these things i have observed from my youth <laughs> then jesus behold him beholding him loved him and said unto him one thing thou lackest amen amen he said go thy way sell all whatsoever thou hast give them to poor and thou shall have treasure in heaven and come take up the cross and follow me amen hallelujah this story i talked about it last week and i'm still in this series of the same message now what happened here this is a rich man that came to jesus believing jesus oh lord jesus i love the way you are doing things so the power in you and all that you are doing is too powerful i want to know how do i myself now make heaven how do i 
allow God to lead my life to control me. Jesus now said, uh, do you know the, what the Lord has said in the word of God, the Bible, what the commandments are? And the man said, ah, uh -uh, what commandments? I finished everything from my childhood. I keep all of them and I, 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 I am a man from my childhood. I have been keeping the holiest than holy. Uh, I, I am holy wager. I do all of this holiness thing and then nobody is holy like me. And God looked at him and Jesus was so happy. And he loved him. He said, okay, you lack one thing. He said, eh, what will I lack? Since I have kept all the commandments, what is it that I will lack? He said, what you lack now is for me to direct your steps. I need to be the one that will direct what you must do and what you must not do. The man said, okay, oh yeah, that's why I'm here. He said, okay, go and sell everything that you have. Give it to the poor people. Use it as so seed and come and carry cross and follow me. Hey! God forbid bad thing. <laughs> Hallelujah! God forbid what? How can, how can as rich as Dan Gote or Bill Gates we go and sell everything that he has and now come and carry cross. You know what it means to carry cross? <laughs> cross is more harder than carrying pong pong. <laughs> you know, so where they are building a house, if they say, okay, come and be the messenger that will be serving pong pong, they will have to mix the cement and carry it to upstairs. It's even easier to compare the cross. You know what the cross is? A heavy wood that they will put at your back before you take a step. Hey, well, uh, what Jesus carried for me and you. He said the rich man should go and the rich man that has limousine Rich man that has a powerful house where everything is powerful. He has a fleet of cars. He has a people that is paying salary and everything. And Jesus said, sell everything and come and follow me. He said, no, 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 no. If that is how God is directing the steps, I'm not ready to follow. Please, I'm not, I'm sorry. I cannot follow. I beg, make that they go, make that they go. I don't need to carry cross. No, 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 no. I don't want to carry any cross. What do you mean? Look at verse 22. He said, and he was sad at that saying and went away grieved. Oh my God, for he had great passion. Oh my God. <laughs> Praise God. A man that loved Jesus and he came to him and even called him master. Good, good master. He said, good master. He called him good, good master. Is among the people that clap for Jesus. They love the work of God. They love what Jesus is doing. But Jesus now has offended him by telling him to go and become poor. He should take everything that he has, give it out, and come and follow his step. Because there's something about the man that God, Jesus, wants to change. That is what I'm talking about. When God is directing you what to do or how to go or the way you will follow, sometimes it may be very grievous and very painful. You may not like it. With the prophet of God that have undertaken to do this work of God, there are sometimes messages from above will be coming that will look so tough and so harsh and so difficult. Some conditions that God will say, do this, follow this, go here. It will be so very, 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 or you will look at it as a difficult matter to follow. But because you have chosen to do the work, you have to follow it. That's why the people that sang the song, they say, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Hallelujah. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Amen. So the man has not made up his mind. And so you that is hearing the sound of my voice this morning, have you really made up your mind to allow God to direct your life? Or you are still controlled by the idols of your father's house? There are people that will say today, ah, no, in our family we don't, we don't 
this, we don't do that. They have family condition. Even when the word of God has perceived whatever family condition is, they will say no, they cannot listen to the word of God. It's the family condition. There are also people that are taking decisions for themselves. No, I don't want to join the wire. If I join the wire now, insult too much for that wire. I don't want to. The way that they sort themselves, that they sort, I don't want anybody to insult. I don't want to join the media. I don't want to join the usher. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. I don't want to that. Mind you, everything we are doing on the earth, we are building our heavenly place of abode. Don't come in heaven. Oh, daddy, <laughs> I want to be using this, your, 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 your voice water. I don't want to. Better build your own voice water now. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> hey, daddy, please. Uh, we all are in heaven now, but your voice water. Because uh, the Bible said that when we all get to heaven, all our works shall be tried through fire. Everything we have done on earth, silver, gold, diamond, precious stone, whatever type of thing you have used to build. Some people today, they are waiting for one person to do it all. Somebody will say, hey, my work is only to carry flower. I cannot carry speaker. I cannot touch this one. This is what I am to do in the house of God. I will not do that. They will forget that you are working for yourself, not for me. This ministry, this church is not a church of individual. They say, oh, if, if I come late, uh, uh, I don't know what the man of God will say. Let me just hide and dodge. You dodge, you dodge for yourself. Anything you do. This church, go to other churches. It's not like this. Churches that don't even have water of what we have here. The protocols and the things they will put there. You yourself, to worship there, you must respect yourself. Even when you sit down, you must not, if you do your head like this, or shout me from somewhere, power, you get yourself. Before you enter the auditorium, you must behave yourself but you don't know it's man in control but this place you are free some people even will come open tom tom after they have used the tom tom and the blah blah blue they throw it on the ground some people may come and they, they will eat a biscuit and they throw the nylon bagra some will come anytime they like they carry the chair put the food on top eat it there leave it and go <laughs> We are the spirit of God is there's liberty. Listen to me. The church to fear is this place. You don't what is here? What is here is bigger than the whole Nigeria and the whole world. You don't know. You don't know. If you if if your eyes, a lady came to this church and said, Oh God, open my eyes. Then we were on canopy. The lady said, oh God, open my eyes. I don't want to be misled. I'm hearing a testimony here. But as I come here, God, open my eyes. We have not even come. She was the first person to come. He said, God, open my eyes. I want to know where I am. When God opened her eyes, as if her eyes want to blind, because she saw power, and she saw God himself, life and direct. That was when God told her about how this roof how this place will extend down here. We were just on canopy. God showed him, he said, where your eyes not is a cathedral. And after that stage, another stage, another stage. Me, myself, I'm afraid of, because you don't know what is it. If you know who is at work, you, people that are our member that like to come anytime they like, they are just, they don't know what they have. That's why I thank God that we have what is called social media to show the world because you know when you are speaking or when you are prophesying or when you are saying things you say it in the church the church members will just say i beg <laughs> with the hearer oh daddy 2014 2015 16 and 17 when i prophesy things who will be who or what will happen when it happened uh, daddy that prophecy don't happen and that's also so happen it end with my member they cannot even use it to prophesy or preach to anybody or invite anybody to the church but today, God has given us social media and television that people are now hearing it. As we are hearing the word from my mouth now, other people are right on the telly. Some are right there on social media. Some are in different channels listening to us. So whatever said here, they hear it. And when it happens, they know. Even before I know, they are the ones that used to call me on phone or send me a message. Oh, daddy, this thing you say has happened, no, see it here. 
Nigeria everywhere were at peace. Even what was happening between the south and the north, wasn't, there wasn't any problem. When I told them, I said, there's going to be a complete disagreement. I told them, I said, the northern governors and all that will disagree with the south and everybody. There was no sign. After the prophecy meeting came up, after the prophecy, it began to happen. Now it's happening all over the place. And so, we must know what we have and take it serious and allow him to direct our steps. I know why. See, see, myself, I don't struggle myself. I don't struggle again. Days of struggling is gone. As far as now is concerned, I don't struggle. Whatever he wish to happen now, let him do it. Eh? If he wish the rapture now, let the rapture take place. If he said tomorrow, let it, anything he wants, let it be, not me. That was why Jesus said, he said, Father, if it is my own will, let this cup pass over me. But not my will, but let your will be what? Be done. And instantly God said, okay, my will is for you to go to the cross and pay the price for your people. And Jesus took it with all faith, went to the cross, paid the price, and today we are enjoying it. You are enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. We will continue to enjoy it in the name of Jesus Christ.